model of the CT scan? Awesome. So let me give you a little bit of a review of what, uh, what we are looking at. So we have uh, Nancy CT scan. So we have a CT scan, which is a DICOM data. Then I have basically a wax up that was done by Sam, waxing up all four teeth. And that's stitched to basically a model. And you can see the stitching point. Okay. Um, now this model, you know, just to give Sam some, uh, some idea about <clears throat> where the T should be. So I took an alginate impression of the partial and send it to Sam because she likes the position of the teeth. Okay, so, so what, you know, it helps the technician to create a wax up, but we're not going to use it for the planning process. Okay, so once we have the CT scan and the model stitched on top, we can now plan the position of the implants where, where you know where we want them number one also you know where it's uh, doable so you see I also merged the photograph okay right here we don't have to look at the uh, at the bone at, at all but this is basically a photograph that is merged on top of the uh, model of the dentulous ridge and, and I have it from you know from different um, you know different angles but it's all the same model <clears throat> okay so far okay perfect okay that's better so now you see the outline of the tooth now I already positioned an implant in there um, that is almost coming through the um, out of the cingulum and I did the same for number seven and ten, both. So I just put it in there. I just didn't do any any fine tuning yet, but uh, I can probably get it a little bit more, you know, closer to the cingulum by uh, rotating the implant a little bit to the palatal. But you see, there's a concavity on the buckle, so there's a limit of how much we can do that. I can move the implant a little bit uh, bodily to the palate. Okay, that's probably better for you, uh, but that's pretty pretty much it. But I think from a restorative position, you you're in, in pretty good shape there. What do you think about number ten? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you have any comments, you let me know. Okay, don't be shy. That's that's why we're doing this together now. Meaning, make it more like seven. I can increase it in two ways. I can either tilt the implant to the palate which like it was before or and I can move it bodily a little bit but we 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 have to deal with you know we are we have to place the implant within the confines of the bone so that's where the anatomy plays a role but I think that's a little bit better isn't it if you look at it right now now you can see the actual the actual wax up okay you can see it's much much clearer now what do you think it's good right okay so both of these implants are 3.5 in diameter conical connection with in a 13 millimeter length so you see Thomas when we put a 4.3 in there there's not going to be any ridge left and then you know you start getting failures and and listen, I would love to put a 4.3. It's just not possible without. Uh, I, I mean, we can do additional grafting. We can we can add, add but I don't, I'm not sure she's uh, she's really into that. So so I'm I'm going to put it back. And so it'll be like before, from uh, from a restorative position. Now you wanted to see if an, a number. Uh, before we do that, let's see if, the, if we're not too close to the tooth. You see, this is the canine here. Number six can is that an implant or it's a tooth? I'm not sure. Let me see. She has a bunch of implants. Okay, so the way we do it, you see the number seven. I'm walking along the uh, seven implant, and around the platform, you almost two millimeters in distance. So it's pretty close, but it's it's still it's still a safe distance. Let's look at the different angles now. Just to make sure that we are all on the same page. 
okay, kind of uh, clinical picture in terms of if you, let's say you take impressions. If you throw on the the um, the wax up on top of it, that's what you that's what you can expect. That's what you can expect. I don't know if if number. Yeah, nine is fine. You have enough room there. You give me the feedback. Okay. Here, there you go. So here we have the pure wax up and you have the trajectory of the implants. By the way, take a snapshot of it and we'll see if we can get there. Here. Here's your surgical guide, okay? A representation of it. Okay? You see there are windows on the canine because it's pretty close here's the guy here, here you see it here you see it's pretty close there's actually no way to put it even closer you see the guy the guide has tubes that are almost bordering the tooth at least on number 11 and also on number number six it's pretty tight and I think we can do it flapless you see where the um, you see where the tissue is, all this keratinized tissue, we don't have to touch it because the implants are going actually in, going in more palatally. Okay, right in here. So there's no issue of mucosa and stuff like that. Okay, that's it my friend. Good, so I'll get her going. I'm going to save this one and we'll, uh, we'll talk soon. We'll get the case done.